Yeah, yeah. And and just maybe for someone who's starting that journey, uh, that content creation journey, talk about like the the kind of importance of people openly disagreeing with you and then mm -hmm. that allowing you to expound upon your ideas and test them and also have your ideas tested. Yeah, you know, I... I don't want to say that you have to have thick skin to be in a content game. Cause I think that cuts out you know, too many folks because we're not all born with the same level of confidence. So I would say to develop that uh, confidence, start small. And in particular, you can start with folks that already know you and trust you and you trust them to give you a uh, kind feedback before you open up broadly to the world and start putting all these ideas out that haven't been vetted or have never been tested, you can start small, you know, start with your department, start with the folks, you know, in your network and then get that feedback built on the front end. That way you'll start to build that confidence as you push it out to the broader market. And uh, it, it don't be afraid to utilize humor. Like I do that a lot. Um, you got to be careful with humor because not everyone gets the joke, <laughs> but it's a good way to disarm the uh, trolls or the haters out there to disagree. And it's, it's best to assume good intentions, you know, just because someone adamantly disagrees with your idea doesn't necessarily mean that they hate you, but you do want to call them out on what specifically do you disagree about and yep. what would you want to do differently? And let's hear your idea and let's talk about it.